Happy Black Panther weekend. It is a national holiday as far as I'm concerned. And I had to do a Q&A with Legal Bay special edition specifically for Black Panther. So today's Q&A with Legal Bay is, can I create Black Panther gear and sell it in my online shop? You know, hashtag for the culture. So here's the skinny on this. Pretty much... It can be very difficult to do this. I know you want to create Black Panther gear. You may even want to use some of the trademark names that may be owned by Marvel, such as uh, Wakanda, uh, which they filed a trademark for Wakanda for not only the online um, online uh, comic books, excuse me, not the online comic books, but comic books and also toys, but um, they also have some trademarks been filed for the actual name Black Panther as well. So before you run and create this amazing gear, which some of you already have, there's some things that you got to keep in mind. So you want to make sure that you are not directly infringing on the intellectual property of Marvel. This could be their trademarks, their copyrights, or anything of that nature, because you don't want to get yourself in hot water. Now, creating um, products that may be inspired by the movie, um, that might be completely fine. But crossing the line is if you're using like the name or image or likeness of a character um, of any of the actors of um, even the the symbolism, uh, such as the Black Panther suit, having those things on your items could land you in hot water. A lot of people gave some pushback on this because they said, well, Attorney Davis, some of these items are not trademarked. However, uh, sometimes when it comes to movies and things in books, there can be some intellectual property rights attached to fictional characters. But there's another legal test that has to be applied. If this character has been so fully described and developed that they are essential to the plot line and storyline, then that fictional character actually can be protected by an intellectual intellectual property law. And so some claims or some infringement that can occur can not only be on the trademark and copyright front, but also unfair competition, which could lead to arguments of uh, misrepresentation or false sponsorship or misappropriation. So you want to make sure that your products are not so close to the movie that someone could think you have maybe an official endorsement or license from Marvel itself. Now, you just have to be super careful. I know that people are going to get their coins. They're going to do things. They're going to do things not only uh, for for selling those items and stuff for the culture, like I said, and just in celebration of this amazing movie. But make sure that you protect your smarts. Make sure you don't violate anyone else's smarts. And enjoy the festivities. Enjoy everything that is surrounding this great, momentous occasion and have a great time. But make sure that... You are making sure your brand and your business is protected. If you have any questions, if you need some clarifying points to be made about some of the things that I brought up in the video, let me know. Um, It is not a cut and dry. A lot of times, whether you can sell something in a shop will be really a case by case analysis and basis. So just know that this is not like a one size fits all answer. So you might be able to sell one thing that's completely fine. That's inspired by the movie or inspired by the characters where another item could be directly infringing. So you just want to make sure (laughs) <laughs> that you watch your sips, you know what you're doing. Um, and we saw this a lot of times in a, one example I can think of is Netflix. They sent a cease and desist letter to a company that basically created a pop-up shop based off of a Stranger Things uh, restaurant that was depicted in the uh, series called Logan's Place, I think. And so even though Netflix, I don't believe that they had Logan's Place trademarked or even they had a restaurant called Logan's Place, they knew that this was an infringement of their intellectual property because the pop-up shop was for Stranger Things 2 or Stranger Things um, people. So you just want to make sure that if you're going to go all out for Black Panther and create amazing products, that you are not infringing on Marvel's intellectual property. So happy Black Parent Weekend. I had to do this special Q&A with Legal Bay to address this issue so that I can help you guys out. So I'm happy to be sharing this clarifying information and I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.